Okay, so there are going to be a lot of people going out there concerned that this movie is going to be worse than the prequels. Well, don't worry everyone, I'm here to dispel those rumours for you. Star Wars The Force Awakens kicks ass. J.J. Abrams, you have saved this franchise from the clutches of George Lucas's hands. The film takes place 30 years after the events of Return of the Jedi and a new order is starting to rise within the galaxy, thus causing a conflict which eventually creates another version of the Galactic Empire and the Rebellion from the original trilogy, which will undoubtedly grow in size as we will later on hopefully see in Episodes 8 and 9. And with the creation of a brand new saga comes brand new characters, as well as the return of some older characters that we all know and love very much. For example, Han Solo, who I was very happy to see return. One of the good things about him is, is that he's not just here in this new trilogy, just to be there. He actually plays a very important role in the film. And it's still really good to see him be a total badass at the age of 73. I'm not kidding, he's actually 73. Among the returning characters are Chewbacca, Leia, R2-D2 and C-3PO, one of my personal favourites in the franchise. Come on, that guy's awesome. I also love the new characters that we got to see introduced into this new trilogy. For example, John Boyega, who plays Finn, a stormtrooper who was originally part of the First Order, which is this trilogy's version of the Galactic Empire, who eventually switches over and joins the Resistance against the villains. Whilst there, he meets a girl called Finn, who becomes embroiled into this massive conflict the moment he starts to come into our own life. These two were really into their respective roles. I really enjoyed watching them in the film, and to be honest, I've got a feeling we're going to hear a lot more from them in the near future. And also you've got Kylo Ren, the story's main antagonist, played by Adam Driver. I was going to think of him as this trilogy's version of Darth Vader, however throughout the course of this you actually see that he has a much more compassionate side to him, which at times does make him quite scary. This guy is intimidating as shit. I thought he was a brilliant villain. However, though, if there was one thing that I didn't really like about him that I could possibly nitpick, it's that it doesn't really feel like he's going to live up to the same level as Darth Vader did in the original trilogy. Let me explain. With new entries in a film franchise, you're going to want to make each continuous film better than the previous entry. So I was kind of expecting that with Kylo Ren to be better than Darth Vader. He might become better than his predecessor in the coming episodes, but I just didn't really see it in him this time round. Don't get me wrong though, I still liked him. I thought he was a great villain and I thought he was perfectly cast for the role. John Williams also makes a graceful return to the series, giving us yet another amazing soundtrack that will live through the years and stay in our hearts for the rest of our lives. You can't exactly have a Star Wars movie without it because he has helped turn the franchise into what it is today, so it would actually make sense to bring him back into this. The action sequences were great as well. Going into the cinema, I got really excited to see the kind of action that we saw in the trailers. They weren't just good, they were even better than what we initially saw on YouTube. It brought back the nostalgia that I had as a kid growing up on the original movies, it added more to it, and they made it not just a beautiful piece of science fiction, but history in general. The movie was amazing, it brought back the nostalgia factor for me, and it got better with every single scene. So for that guys, I'm giving Star Wars The Force Awakens an A. After watching this and leaving the cinema last night, I couldn't help but think of two things. Number one, I'm so glad that this didn't suck and that it's so much better than the prequels. And number two, it's now less than a year until Rogue One comes out. Given how much I loved this movie, I've now got very high expectations to see the first Star Wars spin-off. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I would say let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts on Star Wars The Force Awakens were, but judging from what I've seen with reviews for this by Jeremy Johns and Chris Duckman, I would say to the people watching this, don't check the comments, because chances are there'll be a couple of dickheads that will just feel happier by spoiling the entire movie for the rest of us. But other than that, folks, I've been Tartarus Pictures, and may the Force be with you. Good night.